afternoon. This is your News for Now update. I'm Kay Ingram. And Hurricane Ian is expected to make landfall at any moment along the Florida coast. This here is a look from the Hurricane Hunters. You're looking inside the eye of Hurricane Ian over the Gulf of Mexico. The storm is expected to make another landfall and then head north and bring rain to the tri-state. Let's get to Storm Team 4's Dave Price. Dave? All right, Kay, this is what we know at this point. It's still a Category 4 storm with winds upwards of 155 miles per hour. It's moving slowly, expected to slow its forward speed as this eye makes its way on shore in the next several hours, moving to the north-northeast at about 9. This is a look. You can see this well-defined wide eye beginning to push ashore at this point with hurricane force winds extending 40 miles from the center of the eye. And, of course, we have tropical storm force winds extending 175 miles from the center as well. Upwards of two feet of rain, 100 mile per hour wind gusts at landfall and a storm surge, which could be catastrophic at upwards of 16 feet. That's what we're watching for. Isolated tornadoes not out of the question as well. We look at rain totals. They could be massive up and down the Florida coastline into Georgia and through the Carolinas as well, eventually bringing us some rain as we head into the weekend. We'll talk more about your forecast as we see you a little later on this afternoon. Back to you. All right, Dave, thanks for that look. Now on to breaking news out of Brooklyn. Three people have been arrested in connection with the gunpoint robbery of a bishop. The whole thing caught on live stream. One million dollars worth of jewelry was taken from Bishop Lamore Miller Whitehead. It happened back in July. They allegedly threatened him and his wife, too. Police say they have not recovered any of the jewelry, but have a good idea why the bishop may have been targeted. If, if you look, there's a pattern throughout the city. Uh, throughout the last four, a few years, high-end jewelry robberies being targeted. The pastor live streams. He, he has high-end jewelry robberies, so we suspect it's that. Two of the men have prior arrests. Police did not provide details on a third person arrested. All of them will face a judge this afternoon. And happening now on Long Island, opening statements have gotten underway in the trial of an ex-NYPD officer and his former fiance, charged with killing the officer's eight-year-old son. Thomas Valva died in January of 2020. Prosecutors say Thomas's father, Michael, and Angela Polina forced the boy to sleep in an unheated garage in their home on Long Island during freezing temperatures. Both pleaded not guilty to second-degree murder and child endangerment. Valva and Polina face a sentence of up to 25 years to life in prison. All right, happening right now, the New York City Council is holding hearings on a bill to end solitary confinement in city jails. It would also allow inmates to have a hearing before they're put in restrictive housing. The families of two Rikers prisoners who died in solitary confinement, Laylene Palenko and Khalif Browder, plan a rally in support of the bill. The union representing correction officers plans to oppose it, saying that assaults and officers on officers and resignations are soaring. All right, and still more ahead, the new crackdown on ATVs and street bikes. We'll have more on that next. This just in out of Jersey, the mayor of Patterson has announced a new city ban on ATVs and other illegal vehicles. Patterson City Council passed a new ordinance last month. It bans dirt bikes, mini bikes, even snowmobiles on public property, streets and sidewalks. The ordinance also allows law enforcement to confiscate and possibly destroy the now illegal vehicles. They will also be fined up to $2,000. All right, and coming up at four, Katie Couric's cancer fight. The former Today Show anchor talks about her breast cancer treatment treatment and her message for other women. That's it for now. I'm Kay Ingram. We'll see you back here for News for New York at 4. Have a good afternoon.